this is all about prefabs. What is a prefab? A prefab is when you have an object in Unity that you want the code to bring into the scene. So right now there's no objects in the scene, as you can see, but if I press play, the code will bring that object into the scene. It instantiated the object. Um, so how did I do that? I used this little piece of script right here. Let's take a look. Um, test script brings a game object called my prefab, and it says in, in the public variable there there's no definition in it, so we're just going to drag and drop our own sprite onto there, and then in void it instantiates. That means bring it, create an instance of my prefab at transform position that's zero zero, and at quaternion dot identity that means the normal rotation that it's already at. Okay, so now I'm going to turn this one off so that we can do this whole little thing again. So as you can see, nothing appears in my scene right now. So now I'm going to go here to my images and I'm going to bring a balloon in there. So I've got a magenta balloon. Now in order to make it into a prefab, all I'm going to do is drag balloon magenta onto my prefabs folder. And there it is, exactly where I want it. Now I can delete it from the scene and I can make a new game object. So create empty and I'm going to call it my balloon magenta my balloon magenta okay and we're going to add a component which is going to be a new script and we're going to call it instantiate object okay so in this script we're going to do just exactly what we did in the test script okay so first thing we have to do is declare a public variable public um, what comes next? Public game object. Game object. We're going to call it my prefab object equals null. So then, uh, so we got that. Um, and then we're going to say instantiate and void start. Let's give ourselves a few space. Instantiate. my prefab object comma transform dot position comma quaternion dot um, identity I believe that's it yeah let me close that and do a semicolon okay so what that's going to do is it's going to give us a place to drag and drop our prefab object um, change it from null to an actual value and then it's going to use our prefab object at the center position and give it no rotation so uh, or give it rotation based on the actual object okay so here we are it says there's none for my prefab object cool because uh, I just happen to have a nice prefab object let's find it here prefabs balloon magenta here we go so we're just going to drag it over here to my prefab object and voila we can run the code and that's it thanks for watching